DT71 mini digital tweezers. Well, what the hell is a digital tweezer? Well, it measures L inductors, C capacitor, R resistor, V voltage, F frequency, D diode, and there's a signal generator. Huh, eh, might be cool. Hey, what's happening guys? So I got the DT71 digital tweezers here from Miniware. The same company that make the, uh, what was it, TS80, TS100, um, those little stick soldering irons you power off a USB port. So here's what you get in the box. This is the charging lead. and also allows you to hook it to your computer so you can upload firmware or change configuration. And you get an extra set of these gold-plated tips. Now, the batteries for this are in these arms. So to charge it, you actually have to remove the display, the head unit. And you plug this in. And then you plug it into a, a USB. And you can charge it like that. I'm going to plug this into here. Probably nothing. Yeah, nothing. I had to try it. So we'll plug her in here. Zoom in. Oh, sorry, bumped the camera. If I short the tips out, if you can see that it says voltage 0.2 millivolts open back up some voltage now there is a touch sensor here on the tip if I hit it you can see it now says resistance short that out and we get zero so I got a board here with some SMD components this is uh, designed by dr. Quincy deep in the heart of Texas so let's see if we can find a resistor yeah. Quincy even went so far as to label them for us because he's that kind of guy. So 31.6K. Let's see what happens. Nope. Okay, that's kind of hard to grab a hold of like this. I mean, it's meant to do it on your desk. I'm getting 2.2K. Okay, this other one here says 10K. Let's see what it reads. Of course, that could very well be because we are in circuit. 8.6. Interesting. Let me uh, switch this back over to identify mode. You see that little A there. That means it's automatically going to detect whatever I do. So here's a capacitor. Let me grab a hold of that guy. I get 8.9 puff. And what we got here? 10. So that's pretty good. Here's a 10K resistor. That's 10K. Let me try another one. I only read 1K. Quincy, did you put odd values in here and not tell me? thinks it's a diode all right let's try this 10 we'll try this 10k uh, right here again huh all right I think I've got some SMD components here in one of my drawers because I'm planning on doing some uh, SMD boards. Hey, on a minute. Yeah, can you believe I bought SMD components? Now this should be able to measure regular resistors too. These are 100 ohms. So it's in automatic mode again. Mm, 
not reading the resistor. It is fully charged. All right, so now I've got it on resistance. 97.3, see that's fine. Hmm. Let's try uh, Arduino. We got some LEDs, diodes. So I tap that. What the heck? It's not even reading this. Signal generator. Calibration. Measure. RX, DX, CX, LX, FX, VX, RX, DX. Okay, so now we're on diode mode. We'll check one of these LEDs here. Nothing that way. Hmm. That's all right. Do not fear. We have more LEDs. These were the ones sent by uh, Respawn Restricted in that great uh, care package. Well, guess what? I got another package yesterday from a Mobius fan and it's got all kinds of cool stuff in it that was from my uh, Amazon wish list so thank you James I really appreciate that and if you guys want to see a uh, what James said let me know and I'll do a video I try not to repeat the videos too often you know kind of keep things interesting ah, hold on okay there's a 50-50 LED. We got this guy in diode mode. If we touch those contacts. Hey, look at that. Thing goes upside down. It's supposed it's supposed to be able to reverse directions. Now it's stuck. I don't want automatic. I don't want a signal generator. I don't want calibration. I want measure. Yes. Diode. Okay, so we got diode. Them on there. 2.79 volts. Seems a little excessive. Let's uh do 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 do. Yeah, I mean I'm I'm literally just futzing around here playing with these things. Alright, let's try some of these LEDs on here. Oh, look. Can you see that? It blinketed. Every time I touch this, it changes. All right, volt, diode. Try this again. There, look. It's blinking the LED, but it's not giving me a reading. Try another one. There, now we're getting a reading 1.88 on the red LED. Can't give me a reading on the, what color was that one? Green. Yeah, give me a reading on the red one. So it works pretty well. Now, the one thing that I find really odd, let's zoom in here. I don't even know how well you guys can see that. Let me, uh, 
turn off a couple lights. <laughs> Stuff flying everywhere. Such is life in my household. Always something flying somewhere. Can you see that better now? Okay. So if I just kind of rotate that, what to do? Now it's okay. Now we're on capacitance, inductance, frequency, voltage. Give it a long press, and it should go to it should go to automatic. There we go. Identify, automatic. Let's see how it does as a frequency counter. All right, here's a little function generator. We got a 10 kilohertz sine wave. We're on automatic. So if I touch these here, it gives me a negative voltage reading. Why is it doing that? That's the red, that's the positive, that's the out. Magnets work. All right, RX, DX, CX, LX, FX. All right, here we go. Yep, 10 kilohertz. No problemo. Uh, let's see what the specs on this are. Do, do, do. Here we go. So resistance, it will read 0.1 to 1,000 ohm. And it's got, I don't know, another category, 0.1 to 2,000 ohm. It's like there's two, there's two different categories there. I don't understand that. Measurement range. All right. Resolution is 0.1 ohm accuracy. Half a percent plus minus two. Diodes, 0.1 to 3 volt. Capacitors, 0.1 picofarad to 1,000 picofarad. Or 0.001 microfarad to 400 microfarad. Inductance, uh, 1 microhenry to 1,000 microhenries. Or 1 microhenry, 1 millihenry to 50 millihenries. Why are there two ranges? Frequency 1 to 1,000 uh, hertz, 1 kilohertz to 20 kilohertz, and voltage 1 millivolt to 100 millivolt, or 0.1 to 40. So preparation doesn't, doesn't really say why there's two ranges. Measuring. Okay, all right. So here's another, here's another try. It's a little confusing. Resistance 0.1 to 2 megs, diode 0.1 to 3 volts, capacitance 0.1 pico to 400 micro, inductance 1 microhenry to 50 millihenries, frequency 10 hertz to 20, run it right up to 20 megahertz? Wow. That actually gives this thing a really useful function. And voltage 1 millivolt to 40 millivolts. So, Let's see. Hold on. All right, I turned the bright overheads off so that we can see a little bit better here. Now, for instance, where are we at? Manual mode for voltage, we don't want that. Resistance, diode, there's capacitor. Let's grab a capacitor here on Quincy's board. So there's a capacitor. Now I'm holding this in my right hand. If I bring it over here and do it in my left hand, you see how the screen rotated? So I must have a little accelerometer in there. So we'll grab the capacitor. There you go. So um, you can download the manual. If you go to Miniware's website, and I'll put a link down below miniware.com slash cn 
and you can bring up the DT71. You see resources download, there's a sales link. You can go to that, or you can just put in here DT71 eh, manual. I forgot to type the word manual. And that will take you to the Seed Studio download where you can download this PDF. And it'll tell you more information about it. These sell for about $60. Um, and if you had a need for them, sure. I... I would not, I could not see these sitting on my bench being used every day. And not just because I don't do SMD stuff all, all the time. I mean, you know, I evaluate stuff and it's got SMDs on it. Um, they're just fiddly. Does that make sense? They work very well. I'm not knocking them at all. Um, Kangaroo Dave did a review of them as well and a teardown. And he noticed there's some just, uh, discongruity between the automatic measurements and the manual measurements I'm trying to open this box and I mean I don't know what do you want for 50 bucks so there they are the miniware DT 71 design by e design well let's see where are we at today with our subscribers the number is 97,992. So we are 2,008 subscribers away from 100,000. And I'm going to add these to the pile of stuff I have on the shelf over there that we're going to give away when we reach 100,000. There's a link down below to a Google form you fill out if you want in on the contest. You have to be a subscriber. you got to fill out the form. Other than that, that's all there is to it. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, I hope you give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to Miniware for sending this out. Big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.